Alright, so Lucid Motors, or CCIV, whichever one you want to call it, has been doing some pretty interesting things in the past week. Before I get into that, you guys, I'm trying to hit 3k subscribers by the end of May. You guys killed it in my last video. I am super grateful for that. I believe this video could hit 100 likes, so smash that like button. It helps my video get out there. It's all I'm asking for. If you could just drop a like, it's extremely helpful. And I do this all for you guys, and it's all free right here on my channel. So subscribe if you already haven't. Drop a like if you haven't. And comment below what you guys think about CCIV and Lucid Motors. So getting into the video. So Lucid Motors right now is in a merger acquisition with Churchill Capital. So basically what's going on right now over the past week, we have seen a lot of consolidation. We saw a strong push and then more consolidation in the $18, $19 levels. If we look at the one month chart, we did take a nice bounce off this $18 level. And there's also another thing behind this as well. If we look at the short interest right here, we can see that the short interest is very high. There's approximately 740 million shares that, I'm sorry, 740 million worth of shares shorted on CCIV right now. It is the most heavily shorted SPAC in the market. So I do believe with the right news and the right, you know, positive uh, publication, this stock could climb even higher if the shorts begin to get out. Another thing to keep in mind is that this stock right now is a little bit over a third undervalued compared to what it should be at. If we look at the one year chart, it went all the way up to 60, then it was way overvalued, but now it is undervalued by a little bit over a third according to many different analysts and investors. If you guys have watched my previous video, I made a previous video talking about how it's undervalued and why they think it's undervalued based off the financial statements. So if investors see the right opportunity to get in, I believe once we break out of this consolidation, we will see a nice upward trend. Looking at some news. So for those of you guys who don't know, uh, Lucid has gotten Sherry House, which will be her, C which will be the CEO CFO for uh, Lucid Motors. She has a great finance and technical background in investment banking, corporate finance, and things like that. Another thing is that she really realizes the scale that Lucid Motors could grow at. You know, if when we talk about scaling a company, she is the perfect fit for scaling Lucid Motors. Another thing to keep in mind as well is that Lucid Motors does have people who have worked with Apple in the previous years, uh, you know, or people who have worked with Apple very closely at executive level positions on their executive team. Apple has approached Lucid Motors, but Lucid Motors is completely denying whether or not or saying not saying yes or no if Apple has approached them. Think about the revenue that it will bring to Lucid Motors if Apple and Lucid Motors were to come together to make an Apple electric vehicle. Looking at another article as well, they are looking to open up a store at the Tyson location. Look, opening up this store will mean that they are ready to expand. This will be in the Washington, D.C. area and specifically in the metropolitan area. Uh, for those of you guys who haven't seen like Tesla shops at malls and things like that, if you look below on the bottom right here, it'll be very similar to that where customers can come in and check out these vehicles right there at the mall as they're browsing and possibly purchase a vehicle there. I've done that many times. I've gone into the Tesla shops at the malls, sat in the Teslas and things like that. They want to outgrow Tesla and be the premium luxury vehicle of the electric vehicle market. That is very good news because for in order for Lucid Motors to grow faster than Tesla, they will have to set themselves apart. And by being the luxury vehicle of the electric vehicle market, that will completely set them apart. Some more news for you guys is that Lucid Motors is expected to go into different global markets uh, way faster than what they had expected. There is those lawsuits right now going on with, with Churchill Capital for them reporting uh, incorrect numbers to investors and things like that, such, such as how many vehicles they'll be producing, their timelines, profits, and things like that. So there's that's another thing to keep in mind as well. If we take a look at the options, the options are relatively cheap right now. I know a lot of you guys trade options. So if this stock were to get the right catalyst and push behind it and people were to get out of their shorts, these you know $35 strikes are very cheap. There's currently 464 people holding them. 
They're only $11 right now. If you want to push it back a later to a later date over in July, $13 for $95. I know those are way out of the money, but with the right push and catalyst, this could see a major short squeeze. Not one quite like GameStop or AMC, but there's enough people shorting it for a very generic basic short squeeze to happen, which will kind of change the options prices when it moves up really fast intraday, not you know overnight and things like that. The options prices usually tend to move more during the trading days. If it were to move more after hours and things like that, if you guys have played earnings and things like that, the implied volatility may crush that option. It may not even move at all. So there's many different things to look at. I want you guys to be a part of this. We are still waiting for that short squeeze to happen. I'm going to be bringing you guys this news every single day to kind of educate you what's going on with this company because the room for growth at Lucid is very high. And if they were to outgrow Tesla, we, we've seen what Tesla can do. So there's very early opportunities for you guys to get in this. It's in the growth, straight, growth stage. And it, for investors to see this in the right catalyst, I believe that Lucid Motors in Churchill Capital or whatever you want to call this stock could fly pretty soon here with the right news. So stay tuned to the channel, subscribe if you haven't, and make sure to drop a like. That will help me out a ton. Comment below your guys' thoughts. I'd love to hear news that I don't know or things that I have not talked about. So comment below, like, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.